Hello and welcome back to Southern RPG. We're back in uh, New World Eternum today to continue on with the main story quest line and to like, figure out the mechanics of the game as we go along. Uh, it's been quite a long time since I played the game before. We did the previous episode where it was the beginning of the tutorial and stuff like that and all the changes that they made to all the different character parts. And we're just in... Oh. That was actually pretty badass. I wasn't expecting to walk into a building and get a full-on cutscene. I was never in the, the game before. So I just kind of walked in expecting to go in and press E on a person. But there's a lot of changes to the game and I'm really enjoying it so far. there. Kind of oversells the place, don't you think? I sure won't be calling this place home. But hey, aren't you popular? Messenger from the night regent herself was looking for you. Getting fancy, aren't we? She's keen to have a word with you up at the keep. Lovely job. Word around town says the night regent's just a puppet and some minister Lochner is actually running things. And then this true air business. You think that's what drew the crowds? But Barkeep says it's really just people fleeing from trouble at the outlying farms. Sounds like some kind of plague. People turning on their friends and neighbours with cold murder in their eyes. Unlike those red-eyed bastards on the beach, these folks aren't possessed. Seems like they don't have any souls at all. Elstrom well, said it. Trust all the shite coming out of that oaf's mouth. Well, maybe there was some truth to it. I'd be more interested to hear what the Night Regent has to say, particularly if there's mention of coin. I'm right here if you need me. Lovely jubbly. Yeah, so there's a lot more stuff going on where you can just actually... We're just going to put our points to focus until we get to the second tier. There's a lot more stuff going on with the actual single player stuff. That's why I'm running through and doing the main quest all the way through. Just to, I, wanted, I wanted to check it out. I did enjoy the main quest before, but you also had to get to a certain, like a certain point within the, within the zones that you're leveling in. So each of these zones here, you'll have the different zones you're leveling. And then you'll get to the point where you've completed all the quests and you'll have to grind out before you can move to the next one, etc, etc. But there is some things that we will be doing during the series. We'll be doing some, like, it'll be let's playing, but there will be part points of the game where we do, uh, like, guides and stuff like that as we're going through it. Uh, what we unlock things as we go. I think that'd be the best way to do it. Um, what's happening over here? This gaze is playing some drums, man. Duh, 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 duh. How do I do it? Can you dance like that? Yeah, you can. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, that's enough. It's the whole video of me just dancing to a thing. I actually quite like that beat, to be honest. You actually, it's kind of a mini game you have to do with those uh, instruments. We haven't unlocked them yet. There are side quests in these areas you do have to go to. If I can get the bloody thing to move. How do I get the map to move again? What was that? Unlocking what? There we go. So you have like different side quests you'll have to do. And here's the three things. We'll do the diff different side quests that will unlock certain abilities. You don't have to do them anymore, though, because we can just run through the main story quest. Which I think is actually pretty. And it just does cutscenes now. The nights, the miners no word in days. We need to know what's going on out there, Lochnir. The people are simply distracted. Word has spread of the true heir's return. As acting regent, you have served Pride One faithfully. And I'm sure this is unsettling for you. 
I want his stuff. But you can set aside your concerns. When the new king is ready to assume his duties, I will gladly stand down. But not before. <clears throat> of course. Now, I have preparations to attend to. I want his stuff and his clothing. Actually, it makes him look. Why are you looking at me like that? Like, what did I do to you, man? We got like, there's a lot of stuff going on. This I'm gonna have to get used to the fact that when we're going in towards a quest marker, that it's gonna do cutscenes and stuff. That's gonna be something I really need to get used to. Let's add this to the journal because it does give us a decent amount of XP. So we did have something pop up here. Territories. Let's talk about the territories and the territory uh, bonuses that we get. We did talk it a little bit about it in the last episode. But we're going to be getting basically these cards and we get a territory standing game territory standing is the one you always want to pick straight away like this one always get that straight away because you'll get quicker and quicker and quicker at leveling up the territory bonuses as you're questing and gathering resources in those areas that's the one you want to go ah, for you must be the one from the beach selpain believes you to be honorable and i trust his judgment but i like to hear reports firsthand we saw signs of corruption by the shore but we believed it was isolated and that no one had actually become corrupted. Did you see them yourself? That is not what I wanted to hear, but I see the sincerity in your eyes. You should know that we normally go to great lengths to make newcomers feel welcome in Pride One. I'm sorry if I seem impatient just now. It's kind of weird how they haven't seen like a corruption really happening in that time. With all the excitements for the return of the true heir, I believe we are ignoring signs of grave threats to Pride One. And news of corrupted adds to the list. Lovely However, job, eh? the greater concern right now is the rush of disappearances. Sworn knights who failed to report in over the last several weeks. Minister Lochnia has sent scouts, but they have not returned as of yet. Like he's helping you and to And now be I feel they are missing as well. Still, he counsels patience. You know he counsels? Bullshit. Lognir believes the return of the royal bloodline will solve all problems. I feel strongly that we cannot afford to wait for Gwen. Is there anything oh, I can do? I'm sorry. This is poor form on my part, dropping all my troubles on your boots. I would not impose on someone who just arrived. Why are you telling everyone your secrets is the question? Still, with the remaining nights spread thin, you're probably able to get me answers faster than they can. Hmm. The mine is not so far away either. That's just it. We don't know. The foreman there, Alia Musa, is a personal friend and she usually visits once a week. But it's been a month. If you're truly willing, I would ask you to check on the foreman Musa and report back. Oh, and please inform Minister Lochnir of your mission, just so he's aware. Why? This is just sending us to go speak to him so we can hear the other side of the story. Where is he? Speak to Minister Lochner before venturing into the mines. I kind of had a bit of an issue because I needed the uh, the DLC, which I never got. And that unlocks the flail, which is what I wanted to use for this playthrough. But at the moment, it's not possible to grab that. So we're going to have to wait a little while until like the next YouTube thing comes through. And we'll be able to jump. Oh, can we milk you? Milking Bessie. I forgot about that. <laughs> just imagine hundreds and hundreds of people walking through and just milking Bessie every two seconds. Poor girl. You go through. So basically, you can have to wait until I can get the flail, the DLC for the Angry Earth to get the mounts and stuff. Hopefully it doesn't lock us out of too much stuff until then. But we'll see how... It, this guy looks badass as hell for a level 10. Let's speak hey, to... What are you going to give are us? Are you the one I've been hearing about? <laughs> yes, you must be. You match the description. People talk around here, you know. They say you've been quite a help, and I was like, well, why haven't they helped me? But then I realized, <laughs> silly Geary, it's because you haven't asked. Something you need help yes. with. Yes, honey. Honey so delicious, it's called devil's honey. I have a special reserve up on Hiraiath Lookout. Collect my honeycombs, and I'll give you some to take. Okay, so that's going to be one of the side quests that you can get. Now, we're not really going to focus a lot on the side quest. That horse literally ran really weirdly then. Uh, we need to go speak to the dude which is over there. I kind of just went completely the wrong bloody way. 
Well, because I wanted to go flail, shield, and healing stuff. So buffs, debuffs, and a little bit of extra healing while you're doing melee damage. I wanted to go heavy armor. It does have the minus ability. There's some honey here as well. Um, that does have some minus abilities. You can grab that every couple of hours that are respawn. And if you're a part of the, the faction who owns it, you can come here for the iron supply. You can just pick up some iron from there as you're going along. Um, but I wanted to go that way around and go heavy armor. You get a minus 30% debuff if using heavy armor on healing, but there are perks and bonuses you can put to kind of negate that. It's not going to be as overpowered as it was. Where the hell did I run past him? There he is over there. I literally ran past him again. So if we get that, we can use that. I want to try that. We'll grab some water as well because we'll be doing some cooking here in a bit and a little bit of crafting to get some. There's a blue note over there. I've got to grab that. I'm a stickler for grabbing all the blue shinies. Because it does give you pretty decent XP when you have them unlocked. And it does give you pretty good lore in the background. It's actually really nice. There's some extra things over there. We do have some leather. Maybe we can just do this real quick and do some coarse leather stuff. Let's just craft it all. Get them all crafted up. So we get a load of XP. It will give us XP to level up our leather working. And then it will like give us XP as we're leveling up. So the more you level up each of your skills and uh, like, all of the skills that you have in here, trade skills, etc. You level these up, they will actually give you a lot and a lot more um, like XP as they're getting higher. So like if you're going, if you go and kill a load of boars and stuff and skin them. Again, I'm just talking and running away the wrong direction. If you skin them and do all that sort of stuff, then you'll get a lot of XP the higher level you get them. If you get them all to 200, it's a, it's a really good way of getting it in between, so it makes it useful. Where the hell did this guy He's just literally stand in there in the middle of the ah, thing? Ah, yes. It's as bold as the me. The newcomer invited to an audience with the Knight Regent. Imagine if you had arrived a few days later, you might have been welcomed by a king. Yes, Gawain's return will restore Pridwin's glory. The Knight Regent has performed well with my counsel, but she sometimes exceeds her mandate. Isn't she still in charge? Oh, no. But she would do well not to concern herself with matters our new king can better adjudicate. Tell me, has she enlisted you in one of her endeavors? Actually, I volunteered, mate. Well, aren't we proving our value quickly? I'm sure the king will also be grateful for those who willingly submit to his guidance. I don't like this dude's face. It's not face. my place to countermand the Knight Regent's orders, but I would hate to see a prospective resident waste their time. The tavern is open, you know. I don't... Yeah, okay. I'm not that stupid, mate. Not that stupid. I'm going to the mine for the Knight Regent. I'm not going to do anything. Because, I mean, literally, he's just saying, don't do anything. Don't help her. Just go get drunk, man. And yes, though. It's not very good. Let's head north. Usually, these quests will send you off pretty close to the areas, but that's going to send us out a different door. So, we're going to go around. There should be an exit around here somewhere. Just to the right over here. We should have really crafted some of this stuff because we're getting... Oh, no. We actually got a decent amount of weight. We'll start breaking down. What's this? Void Gauntlet. Let's put that on there as well. Um, but they should... Um, we should be starting to break some of the stuff down that we're not using. Uh, what's this? Anyway, that's not as good as the one we got on. Didn't put that amulet on either. Wait, we did. It's a bit of amulet sentry. Plus two constitution. Health. Lost Bane. Five damage to lost. Uh, we'll just stick that on. Put a little bit of extra health. Doesn't really matter. We're going to change that fairly soon anyway. Uh, this go we got some... Vegetables over here. Nuts. That'll pop up on our thing because we've got the harvesting. And we do want to level up all of our harvesting. We're going to grab the nuts and stuff because you're going to make oil and that. Nuts are really hard to get later on at some point. It gets kind of annoying, actually. What's this person doing? Just standing there doing its own thing. How far is that the second one? It's over there. If we, mm, 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 mm. It's going to get us to go through the whole mine, I think, anyway. So we'll try and do that. Let's grab some of these supply caches. They give you a couple of the items. Wire weave is used to upgrade weapons and armor as you're crafting them. The better chance to get better gear when you use that sort of thing. And there's different tiers. Green, blue, purple, and gold, I believe. But it's definitely worth grabbing all of these as you're going along. All the time, every time. Restless wolf. Let's just kill that dude real quick. If we can hit it. Uh, I still don't like that if you're mid, you can't literally dodge out of the way when you're mid attack 
But we will be leveling up, even though we won't be using it that much. Uh, take advantage of enemy weaknesses and types of damage. Fire does really well against certain things. Nature damage does really well against corrupted and lost, etc. etc. There's a lot of different things in there. You can actually check those out. Camping not unlocked yet. What's this person just sitting there doing some stuff with a wolf sitting outside? And you can do it for they have the items for all the different things. So you have uh like the the wire weave, you have aged tannin, pure solvent. These ones are used for like uh the uh weaving, this one's used for level working, etc. etc. They all have different uses and you'll find them a lot later on. You do need to farm a lot. And you can upgrade the lower ones to higher ones. So getting them low level, actually a lot of them is actually some one of the ways to gather the, like a really good amount of them. I don't know if that's changed all that much since I played previously. Uh, let me know down below if that's such a big change or not, if there's something that's going on there. But we will be grabbing these supply crates as we go along. Our Oracalcum Hatchet Charm. What did you give us? Uh, da, da, da. This one is Refreshing Torrent. Each attack, Ridge and Torrent reduces all. That's for putting into craft mods. So those mods will go into the armor if you craft them. So if you collect certain ones, you can actually get those implanted on weapons and armor to make your skills and weapons, etc. better, stronger, faster. That, that, that don't kill me. I need a horse, but I can't use the bloody mounts because of the not having the DLC, which kind of sucks. Just can't afford it right now to actually repair most of the bloody computer recently, which cost way more than it should have done something vibrated on the desk uh, look that guy's running around on a corrupted bear i'm gonna be running around on my feet the entire bloody time uh is there a guy there he is i'm your friend how do you even know what that dude looks like that is some crusty dude after all those years in that hole together don't make me do this the dude's hissing at you, man. Just kill him. And that's that. Stay back! I won't tell you again! <laughs> Forgive me. You okay? Like, what do you mean? For that was a bit much, because considering how they look, you can't really say that that would be your friend, to be honest. Let's go up and check this guy out. Whoa, you! If you thought you were going to the mines, Think again. If you have loved ones in there, I don't know what to tell you. Almost everyone's fallen lost and no support from Pride when in sight. I came from the Nat region. Oh, so now she sends someone. And a stranger who's not even a knight. Why do you have to be such a bitch about informing it? Informing the region of what happened. And I even said, send every knight available doesn't look like that's what's happening for a while some of the miners were holding out fighting back with their picks against the teeth and claws of their now with friends at this point it's probably a lost cause you're brave i'll give you that but we're not talking about a handful of withered we're talking about the whole damn mine look for that stubborn elias derrick and anyone else who's not fallen and then get them and yourself out of there quickly lovely Level 10. I didn't like that character at all. That character was just bullshit, to be honest. What's this? Unlocked bag slot. Unlock the first bag slot. We can put a bag in. We unlock camping and we unlock jewels. Mount to unlock quest at level 20, but we still can't do that because we can't get a bloody mount. I don't even know if we'll be able to, actually. We should have a look at that and check that out. See if we can find at least a little bit of iron. Start unlocking the thing, but I, I doubt it. There's going to be too many, but this is where they kind of would be. You see where it's been mined out. The little rocks, etc. Uh, it's going to take us upstairs. We'll just run up the ramp. See if we can't get up there. Tarty Fwet. What a bloody name that is. Let's have a little look, see inside. Is there a way to... Do we have to go up further? We do have to go up. Can we go up this way? It's a lovely little supply crate. Linen arcane embroidery. Lovely. Can we get up this way? Can you are you gonna let me get up this way? I kind of was just about to try and put some bloody climbing scaffolding like we do in a uh, in return to Moria, but I forgot there wasn't actually part of this one. Let's head uh come on. There's some 
See how we do, like, we do way more damage using nature than you would using fire on these guys, for example. Let's get provisions crates. That gives us a couple of bits of crafting. Uh, later on, there used to be, like, a, like, at the end game, the way to get through all of this was literally to... Let's try and get a kill. No, oh, I missed it. There's one guy that we can rescue, Tamira Dudek. We used to have to run around and literally... I, I thought I'd never get out of here. Really? Thank you. It's not very nice. Of course you'd get out of here. It would help you out. Friar Thomas over there enjoying his best life. Can we get up this bit though? Can, are you going to let me up or not? Can we get up? Can you let me up? Is there a ladder? Please tell me there's a ladder of some kind or not. How do we get out this way? Can we get up? I don't... Can we get up there? Come on, let me up. Why is it not grabbing on? We should be able to get up there, man. There, it climbs up there, so why not here? Okay, that's some bullshit. We're gonna have to go around. We'll cut around the other way, because there is another one over there we need to go to anyway. Oh, that was too high. Oh, we did the literal fall. Let's just get rid of this. There's loads of people just AFK around the bloody area. I don't like that I can't roll out of an attack. I still don't like that. I really don't enjoy that part. Let's see what we got over here. What's that? There's some glowing stuff. Over. Ooh, there's a big chest. What have we got in a supply stock pile? There should be some weapons and stuff in here. What do we have? Iron flail that I can't use. It's just reminding me that the DLC is not going to allow me to go in there and do that. Can we, can we, can we, uh, where is it? Let's see if we can put it on. No, you need Rise of Angry Earth, which I don't have. What's this? Potion pouch? Lovely. Coins open next. We have some salt, milk, and squash. We'll do some more crafting here in a little bit. I just wanted to get some of the main quest out of the way to unlock a little bit more. Uh, recycle. Salvage. Oh, you can salvage all the ones? Let's just do that. Common. Confirm. Lovely. That's a really good way of getting it done. But all it does is just give you, like, um, a couple of coppers and stuff. You should really break that stuff down. Let's get that blue. To get uh, things back from the, uh, from the decrafting. So you get, like, a... Uh, can we get that? No, it's 100. Why would I think you could get that? I haven't seen a single iron node. Let's just farm the crap out of everything. There's another guy in here. Rescue Chanduya. Look for Elias. He was trying to fight back. Making a run for it. I'm making a run for it. Of course you are. Why would you help anything? Um, but why? What I don't get is why the hell they tie him up when they're, they're corrupted, man. They should be like eating them and shit. Doesn't feel like tying them up should be part of their mandate, to be honest. Some obsidian sandpaper for woodworking. The mine's lost! Everyone is withered! I'm getting out of here! Why? Come on, why'd you hit me, man? Got a couple of those guys down. I saw this guy grabbing a box over here. Did I already grab it? No. Okay. Look for Elias Derit. He's going to be right up the top, isn't he? How far away is that? Where are you? You're on the... Uh, is that going to be down on the bottom? I think that'll be down on the bottom. We will have a look around there just in case. Because I don't like having quests unfinished. Because you have a max amount of quests that you can have in your... Uh, invent... Uh, your inventory. Inside, I think. Mutated expeditions. We'll have to have a look at that once that's far... Oh. Get out of my face. I want heavier armor. Talking tank stuff. I prefer to either play tanks or healers, man. Let's go right to the top. I remember this being locked out the first time I played New World. You actually, this was all bugged as a sheep. Let's kill that sheep. Get his nom noms. These guys give you pretty decent Devil's Quarry sheep. There was a quest that you get stuck killing these sheep and you have to kill three of them and they'd never spawn anywhere. Which is really bloody annoying, I might add. Let's unlock this travel waypoint. The fast travel. Unlocked. 
to finish off this questy quest bit over here. You can just hear gunshots in the background. I find... Whoa, what the hell was that? Let's grab this shock bulb. Just to have it. Why not? I mean, we don't really need it right now, but the air motes, they're actually really good for the enchanting and stuff like that. So it's good to just grab everything as you're going around. That's what I like to do. And then later on, you just have to do less of the bullshit of the like running around from point to point. Hello, Elias, you're hiding. Oh, oh, finally, a sign of hope. A brave warrior battling their way through the withered. Oh, it's beyond a relief to see you up here. Now maybe we can find a way to reclaim the mine. And for that, I'm mighty grateful, sure enough. But we can't go without dealing with that infernal relic that caused this disaster. I don't like your voice, mate. Complete the quest. I saw it with my own eyes. An ancient tablet unearthed from its rocky tomb. I had a bad feeling about it from the start. An ill omen, to be sure. Now, I told the crew no one was to touch the damn thing. It was thrumming with some unholy energy. Thrumming. I wanted to get the sage Moira out here to study it. Of course, never got a chance. Next morning, the first of the miners fell to the curse. And then the lost pirates attacked. Hunting for that tablet, no doubt. The pirates were lost too. Yeah, and they're guarding the tablet like it's some kind of treasure. If we don't destroy that damn thing, I fear the curse will spread beyond the mine. I'll destroy You're the tablet, clearly mate. capable, and I won't complain. I'd go with you, but... I'm plum exhausted from this ordeal. Everyone, no and one wants I'm to come with me, man. Much of a fighter, Why is it no one wants to help forget, me? Sage Moira needs to see what started this. Smash the tablet and collect the fragments and then bring them back. We'll leave together. On right, okay. Level 11. Sweet as. Let's do a couple more points in the focus. Hopefully soon we'll be able to do like... Um, do another card. We've got stand XP gain storage. I'm going to raise the storage up more. Lovely jubbly. Uh, da, da, da. Where, da, where is it? It's down here. So over here is where the lookout point is. So maybe we can actually just jump off down. Lovely. I'm just going to jump off. Why the hell not? Bye bye. Let's go and grab the honey for this lady down the bottom there. Take honey. Devil's honey. Five honey. Lovely. Use that to craft some food so we can get better food, better bonuses, etc. And there's always the shiny. Always look for the shiny blue things, guys. They give decent XP, man. 120 XP. Right, so we need to head that direction. Up the top. Look for the strange tablet at the Hiriath Peak. Might need to blast your way into the mine. Someone's already probably done that. No worries. We'll go in there. Let's have a look. Why are you trying to fight me, man? Why are you just fighting me? That guy's a fucking melee in you and you're just attacking me. I'd feel like that guy is just not doing much damage at all. I'm a bloody healer, man. There we go. He's got it now. And I should be able to heal him if he had the actual ability there. Let's get the supply stockpile. Get that blue letter. What's it going to give us? Another flail, probably. Oh, no, Gauntlet of the Sage. Lovely. See if there's any better. Heavy gloves. Two focus. That's got three focus, and it's light. Hmm. I do want to go heavy, though. Let's destroy the tablet. There's one tablet fragment. Can I get us to go through the other way? Oh no, it's finished. Okay, I guess we're fit. Okay, can I get through that? No. Let's use the cannon to get through the other side. I'm starting to lag again. That's definitely something wrong because it's not. I'm pretty sure it's not main and that's fine. Lovely bit more of XP. We'll head over and give this quest in. What's that green shiny? Ah, oh, because this is what you use. Basically, if you're getting to this point, you just fire the cannon. Boom, bang. And blow a hole in the whole wall. Let's go back to this guy who didn't want to help us. You, you did it then? Shattered the tablet? God's blood! I'm 
glad I didn't send you in there to your doom. I'd have felt bad about that. Why did you send me in in the first place, man? The mine, but with the tablet gone, maybe these pirates clear out and we can get back to work after time passes. Ah, <laughs> Musa, she's a stubborn one, all right. I'll wager she's still waiting at the mine's entrance. I'll go and try to convince her to come back to town. Lovely. But you, my friend, you must make haste back to Pridevin. Tell the Night Regent what happened here, and give the tablet fragments to Sage Moira. Yeah, let's hope. If anyone will know what in Tsar Nation that thing is, it'll be Sage Moira. Let's hope it's not related to those rumors from the southern farms. I'll go and round up Foreman Musa and the others. Level 12, we're getting level those levels really quickly. Let's just get that in there assigned. Weapon mastery, life staff. Do we want to start? Oh, oh god, what was that? Bloody throwing a grenade at me, bringing a grenade to my doorstep. Asshole. Alright, let's get the orb of protection and assign that so we can have that. that. This guy just shoots off like an orb through things, but it's actually more difficult to use than you'd think. There's the fast travel. Do we, we want to go back. So we're going to use go and use the fast travel. It'll be a lot quicker than going and running through. Even though you should really, like in my opinion, run between the parts. Let's kill this sheep real quick. Get the nom noms. It's better to run in between the places and just grab all the resources you're going through. It's definitely a much better way of doing it. So you can at least craft more and get that leveled up as you're going through. Let's just... Wait. Fast travel. No. Why is it not lit? Why does it cost to fast travel, man? Why is that? Okay. Whatever. We'll just use that. I'm not going to use the thing just in case we get stuck in a place where there's no fast travel. I'll use the free fast travel. It kind of screams as you're going through. That always freaked me out a little bit when we were playing. When I was playing the game previously, like you'd just be screaming like your body's being ripped into tiny pieces and thrown into the void. Every time you like teleported. Oh, there's a blue shiny. Let's get that. Love the shinies. Uh, not that one. Flowers for the air. The true heirs returning to Monet's Bluff. Fiona Murphy has asked you to bring Avalon lilies. The side quests are just not... They're not really worth it at the moment. It's good to take your time to level up and do the story. And maybe you can do some side quests in some areas. But for the most part, it's really not worth it. But I do need to go down and get this one ticked off. Otherwise, it's just going to be sticking up there. Recall to the Pride Win Inn. Optional. No, I just used the fast travel, man. Uh -huh. Let's get rid of you. Complete the quest. Thank you, you very much. No, I don't want to pick up any more quests. No more side quests. We're running through the main quest here. I just wanted to see if you can actually go through and complete the entire... It's that way. And complete the entire game. Kitchen tier 2. The side... Get a side rock in here. Right, so we can craft 16 of those. Uh, we can craft a load of these. So we'll craft all of these. Just get them crafted so we can level up our cooking and stuff. So we can unlock more things later on. Get more... Continue to craft. Uh, let's craft. We can craft 29 light rations. How? Oh, let's use milk. We don't want to use the primary material as milk, man. Let's craft. Give us 108 cooking. Can we make more? Why does it say we have 15 of those? Okay, got it. Bread, flour, yeast, butter, milk. We can do that later on. There's a lot of stuff we'll have to go through there, but we're going to go put a load of uh, boxes inside. We will level our cooking it unlocked, and it unlocks different levels as you're going through. Come on, where's the bloody is up here? Territory standing points, lovely. We've got two here now, so we can get two more cards. We get territory standing gain, we'll get that up always. I always pick that one over anything else, and storage. So we can have more and more storage. More and more and more and more. Since you can drag stuff from one storage location to another now without uh, like having to travel to the different areas, it makes it a lot easier. Let's speak to the Night Regent. You return. Excellent. Minister Lochnir said I sent... What did Foreman Musa say? 
Tell me the miners are all right. A few, but most have become lost. I can't tell you how disappointed I am to hear that. I have failed in my duty to protect the people of Pridewen. Why? The war from this moment forward, I will take every precaution to ensure the people of Pridewen are safe inside and outside these walls. We will start by discovering how this disaster at the mine began. Surely someone saw something. We dug up an ancient Such tablet. are better left in the earth. The ruins of Eternum hold dangerous secrets that are best left uncovered. We'll need to have Sage Moira study this tablet for answers. If it can even be recovered. I have <laughs> fragments. Excellent. Then please do me one additional favor and bring them to Sage Moira. She knows this island and its secrets far better than I do. But before you go, what of Foreman Musa? I fear to ask after my dear friend. Is she all right? Did she try to send for help? But I received no dispatches at all. This makes no sense. Unless... Well... Perhaps Minister Lochnir will be able to surmise how this occurred. I'm sorry to impose further, but after seeing Sage Moira, could you look for the minister in the town square? I can indeed. I can indeed go and do that. Equip bags. Let's go and equip the bags in here. We need just to basically, because we have the slot open there, we do also have some better tools here. So let's plonk that one in. Why do we have to? Ah, because we got given that by another thing. We will go start to drop off some of these items in our... Let's go... You want to... Where's the storage box? Storage shed's over there. So we're going to put a little thing there so we can head down and grab that. Can I jump off here? I can, oh, no, that's not the way. God damn it. There it works. I'm like uh, just about to jump off on the floor. I'll be able to... Nope, not going to make it. Not going to make it. Let's go up to the storage shed and we'll store a load of our materials. Because we, we'll be playing out of here for a little bit. So let, we need to break down some of this stuff as well, to be honest. Um, we'll put all the food in there. Fishing, bait, craft mods, woodworking, weaving, leather working. We'll put everything that we have. Regents, stone cutting, because you can just use everything out of this storage. What do we have there? Let's open that up. What does it give us? Lovely. Some more food, nom noms. Attribute food. Nice. Basic food, attribute food, etc, etc. Now we're not going to break these down because I want to go to... Where is the... That's the kitchen. The war board's down there. It's going to be down this way somewhere. Because we want to do... We had the weaving set up. There we go. Outfitting station and the loom. We'll go to the loom over here because we'll have a quest for that as well. And then we'll head up and speak to the Sage Moira about the tablet fragments. But we do want to... It's over this way. Because we do have the gathering. Where's the trade skills? We have the harvesting and we have uh, weaving as a bonus. So we start with 50 on all these and Arcana. Arcana is another one that we're going to be using, which uh, is really difficult. It's one of the more difficult ones to level up, at least previously. Uh, until you can like start buying all the materials and stuff like that. There's the loom over here. Let's try and craft some. We haven't picked up anything, I don't think. We have got some a couple of linen here, so we can craft some sateen, which is the higher tier linen, which you use the wire weave to craft upwards and upwards and upwards to get the higher tier stuff. It doesn't seem like they have much more, to be honest. So we don't actually need to... Where's the... There's the arcane repository. This is where you're going to be doing your... Um... Your arcana stuff. So this is where you build your iron stuffs, your life stuffs, etc. And you can craft all of these. We can make... Oh, we can do some things here. Used to make strong... Per first craft bonus available. Used to make strong potions. Because you can make all the potions. This is a good one to get into earlier on. So... You can start selling the potions and they'll sell for quite a decent amount of money as you're going up. But you need to find ways to level it up. We started at 50, so we do have quite a lot of stuff already unlocked. We can make the steel lifestyle. So you don't really have to go all the way through. But you do need a lot of different things. So you have to buy stuff off of someone else. To then craft in that. If you're only using those kind of things for example. Uh, let's head back up to. For some reason. Exactly where they sent us off. <laughs> I thought it'd be somewhere else. So I just jumped off the bloody roof. I wanted to store everything anyway. I don't know if I should put my bloody hat on. Because it's. I kind of just want to. Uh. 
Oh, that's going to be annoying. We don't want to die. We don't want to die. We want to go change skin. Uh, headwear. Let's take that off. And we'll just walk around with our pointy helmet. Literally just look like an orchid, man. Walking tree person. Right. We actually just had to go upstairs. That's all we had to do. Just had to go upstairs. Oh, I've just seen Elias and learned of the tragedy at the mine. Are you the one who recovered the fragments of this tablet they stumbled onto? This person looks like they've done way too much speed. Hmm, very interesting. Elias said they unearthed this tablet, but it has signs of extensive weathering. Yes. It has clearly been exposed to the elements. I will have to study these fragments more closely. In the meantime, you are new to Pride when are you not? Quite a moment to arrive. Do you know our history? On the precipice of Sir Gawain's return to claim the throne, you should learn the significance of this event. Let me tell you the full story. Jesus. King Artorius arrived on Eternum 700 years ago to discover a people scattered and divided. Promising order, he united Southern Eternum for the first time since the era of the ancients. The king's rule was built upon the armor-clad shoulders of his sworn knights. Courageous Sir Gawain, fierce Sir Lancelot, and the loyal Sir Galahad. Their valor was tested when hordes of corrupted attacked from the north, guided by none other than the king's fallen advisor, the wizard Myrdin. In the wake of the conflict, King Artorius was gone. Fate unknown as the kingdom crumbled. Lancelot left seeking vengeance and Galahad to create a new life. But Sir Gawain was heir to the throne. He departed, seeking only divine blessing for his rule. What is this? Pridewin was in a dire state, ravaged by war, its people demoralized. It was Minister Lochnir who held the town together, safeguarding the throne for Gawain's return. But Sir Jin Jay of Evanscale Reach captured the hearts of the people. After so many dark years, she emerged as a beacon of hope and was appointed Knight Regent. Now the Minister informs us he spotted Sir Gawain's sails on the horizon. And we prepare for the true heir to finally come home and claim his throne. Now perhaps you understand how momentous Gawain's return really is. And why it's so worrisome to hear this news from the mine and from the farms. That kind of whole story. Okay, let's just listen. That, that whole story is literally King Arthur. I don't know how did they get away with that. Though Minister Lochnir has been keeping it quiet to avoid a panic... We've had quite a few refugees claiming their farms are overrun with lost. But Lochnir assures me it's under control. If you have further questions, ask him. I must get to studying these fragments. Let's hope they yield answers. I mean, I'm guessing King Arthur's story has kind of, like, been around so long that you can actually use it freely now, like it's public use, but I don't know, man. That's kind of... That seems like a bit much, to be honest. Let's get this blue shiny nom noms over here in the corner. Lovely. 140 XP. Give me the XP. So we have to just... Uh, where are we going to now? We're going to ask Minister Lochnir about the missives from Cern the Sinophon Mine. Where are you? I don't see ya. Why did you just, like, disappear? Oh, it's telling us we have to run downstairs. So why didn't it show us the way to do that earlier? Yeah, come on. Let's go. Why is it? Why can't I? Oh, there we go. After so many years without our true leader, it's natural to have doubts. But I assure you, the hour draws near. The bloodline of Artorius will soon sit again upon the throne. What we have endured here pales in comparison with what challenges Gawain has faced in his long journey home. But he has persevered for you, the people of Pridewood. We must ask ourselves, how will we show, nay, prove to our new king that we are as devoted to him 
as he is to us. When the hour arrives, I know he will find his subjects have remained true. And we will honor him as we once honored Artorius himself! God, Jesus, this seems a bit weird, man. And pledge our undying loyalty. See, why? Why does he have to be evil at the end of that? Why does he have to, like... I guess we have to have an evil guy, but... Ah, our brave newcomer returns. I understand the Night Regent dispatched you to the mines. A lot to ask of a guest, but it's her prerogative. Do tell, though. I hope the situation there wasn't as dire as it sounded. She said that, did she? Well, yes, I do recall receiving at least one dispatch. But her demands were absolutely out of the question. The foreman wanted us to send all our knights to help defend the mines, but that was, of course, impossible. Why out of the question, I wonder? With all the preparations for the return of the true heir, we simply can't dispatch our knights everywhere they're needed. I was preparing to send a few knights, but then I was told that you had been given the task. You should tell the regent. Oh, by all means, tell her I will come as soon as I finish my vital work on behalf of the true heir, which was proceeding apace before I was interrupted. Tell her it won't be long. And thank you for your service to Pride One. They're just automatically making you hate this dude. And now we gotta go back and talk, really? We just have, yeah, we just have to go upstairs. I forgot about all the running in this game. That's why I need a mount. And I ain't even got a DLC to use the mount, which sucks. But we'll get through it. We'll survive until we can get it. Going up inside. Ah, oh, you look cool. And your little wizard helmet. A wizard's never late. He actually literally looked like Gandalf, to be fair. Yeah, I'm on. I was expecting it to jump through. That big cup person is cool as hell, to be honest. You return, but without Minister Lochner. I assume he claimed he was too busy with his preparations. Perhaps it's just as well. As Knight Regent, it may be best if I handle matters personally going forward. I don't know who's good and who's bad, to be honest. She seems like she's just as bad. While you are away, Foreman Musa visited and related the whole story from the mines. She says the day after the mysterious tablet appeared, lost pirates attacked the mines. Seemingly out of nowhere. These pirates could only have come from the Besseth shore to the north. There was a den of brigands there, and now they are apparently lost. Yeah, apparently. Are you gonna go next? Because every time I press E, it this just seems skips to be an apart. Alarming trend, and we must find the source of it. I have already dispatched Sir Payne to the north, which is my duty as Knight Regent. Lockney will not be pleased. But perhaps he will not deign to pay me a visit. Should I help Sir Payne? Sir Payne? You are eager and courageous, and it is most welcome. My hope is that you and Sir Payne can deter the pirates from further incursions and discover what drives them. May fortune go with you both. Thank you very much, Knight Commander. Knight Commander, I don't know why I went full Game of Thrones there for some bloody reason. Join Sir Payne and Bennett in a Prisbet Shore. Right, let's head off to the next point. We're heading off up to... Jesus, that zoomed out really quickly. We're heading off to this way, so it's going to have to go out of... Why can't I move the map? That's bloody annoying. There we go. It worked that time. So we're going to have to head out of this way. Just go straight ahead out this door. We'll head up now to the left. We can go to that fast trap. Is that unlocked? You do not discover this occasion. We'll grab that along the way. Did we just go out the same door we went out last time and head out? Can we go around? No. It's going to have to go down, I believe, to get outside of here. Do 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 do. Ow. He screamed a little bit before crunching his ankles there. That guy looks like a tree. Yeah, head out to the left. Try and grab some resources along the way and get to the next point. I don't know if there's going to be much in this area on the, because there's going to be so many people here. It seems like everyone started in the same area this time. Maybe not, though. 
Because Cutlass Key. Oh, no, they do. They changed all of this area to 60 to 65. So it is Windswood and Monarch's Bluffs, Everfall. I suppose you can use all of those areas. But the main quest seems to start just here, or does it start in other places? That'll be something you need to let me know down below. That's going to be kind of important, to be honest. I just had to go out for. I forgot if I was. Like, I didn't even see if I was recording or not. That would have been bad. Can't see any resources. Well, that's going to be a long, the bloody thing over here. Maybe the. No, they didn't respawn yet. Did they respawn yet? No. I need to zoom out. There we go. I was cutting it really close. He's going to start doing that to make some buildings. It's really cool, actually, when you get to that point. You can start building stuff in your house. And you can buy a house and build stuff inside of it and do it up however you want. Allow people to have access to it, etc. It's kind of cool. Uh, all right, let's zoom in. To the left over here, we have our teleporter. Let's go up and grab that real quick. Looks like we're going to be at the pirates here. I need to sneeze. Oh, that was loud. That almost blew my face off. I do love the pistols. Oh, the dual pistols. That shit gave us a pretty decent amount of coin. Let's unlock this bad boy. That guy literally looks like Robin from Batman. All right, 170 meters. Let's head down. Grab the stuff along the way. Do what's good in here. What you got for me? Some reinforced hour. Okay, I'll come again. Some wire weave. Lovely. But we do need way more plants. I haven't seen any plants, really. Like the um, fire. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. What is all this? I think this is like carbon footprint not allowed is what this is i'm guessing this is going to be the part of the quest where it tells you to build a camp to be honest. what is that how's that t1 okay that's kind of that kind of ruined it for me a little bit to be honest like why are you gonna have an igloo it's summer good of you to join us my valiant friend i heard about your heroics at the mine you definitely have the makings of a knight for now, we are simply grateful to have your support. Not quite a full contingent here, I'm afraid. How can I help? Before you do anything else, you must build yourself a campsite. It's the wise move when we're this far from Pridewen. There's a splendid spot nearby. Set your tent. Okay, that's why there's bit, tents like. everywhere. We'll be here. Okay, let's go place it down, make a camp, or a bind to an existing camp. Let's go bind to that really disgraceful looking igloo. Why not? Here we go. Bonk. Set it down. Recall point. Lovely. Talk to Sir Payne. Ah, you're back. I'm at a bit of a loss here. A few months ago, this barren beach had nothing but a smattering of pirates. Now it appears to be a war camp. More pirates and supplies arriving by the minute. We need a plan of attack. Indeed. It's going to take an army to drive them out, and we currently lack an army. Perhaps we should pursue a more honorable approach to resolving this conflict. Hmm. You two stay here and defend our position. I will go forth and challenge the leader of the pirates to a duel. Sir Payne's about to get when literally I am victorious. Pained. I will demand that they withdraw from these shores forthwith, never to return. You think they'll honor that, I doubt it. Oh, well, yes. Good point. I suppose our options will be more limited. Was that supposed to be I'm funny? I'm afraid I'm not much of a strategist in a scenario like this. What do you think would be most prudent? These knights seem absolutely, like, terrible. Start with supply lines. That's a grand idea. They've been unloading cargo using the smaller rowboats. If you can destroy their rowboats and all the cargo they've dropped, that would slow them down. I'll mm -hmm. stay and keep an eye out for their leader. Lovely. We'll do that then. You'll do that, Sir Payne. Thank you very much. We'll just go down here and do all the work for you. These knights seem like they're a bit, like, not really well put together and the leader seems really bad. Is that iron? Please tell me that's iron. That's an iron vein. We can finally get a bit of iron. That's surprising that that's actually there, to be honest. 
gets a decent amount of XP. It does take a while to cut down iron until you get to the highest tiers and you get the higher tier things to speed it up a bit. But like the, the metal stuff is really, really slow to gather. But at least we got the upgraded pick, actually. That guy's just shooting fire out of his stuff. Oh, cool. That was cool. Let's go have a look. Let's go kill these boats. Someone's dead down there. Let's see if we can pick them up. Tiana, what happened? How are you inside? Can we uh, come and get you or not? I feel like I need to come and get you. Let's revive you up, Tiana. There you go. Lovely. We got some attribute points we need to grab. Okay, let's break this. Sink pirate supplies. Lovely. In the bushes. Boom. Bye bye. We could use those supplies, man. Feels like kind of a waste, to be honest. Let's try and shoot that ship. Or not. We'll have to go over there and burn that ship. Oh, I don't like when they block. Get off my box. Supply crate. Destroy rowboat. Is there any more rowboats? This seems like... Ooh, okay, get away. Boom. Sorry, you just got absolutely ass blasted. That person just absolutely killed that dude with this. How many more do we have to kill? Three more rowboats. I think they're going to be on the other side. Doesn't seem to be any that way. Is he using a shield and a rapier or a sword and a shield? I kind of wish we had my uh, thingy though. I want my flail, man. Let's see if we can't get inside over here. We'll start killing this guy. There's two more boats. I think that's going to be it after that. Bye bye. Run. Boom. See, this guy's got a horsey and stuff. Oh, it's a lion or whatever. Wolf or whatever that was. That made a really weird sound. Should be done now. It's a pretty standardized questing right now. It's kind of like wow questing. The way that it's like pick up, drop off, pick up, drop off, pick up, drop off. It might get a little bit tedious later. Hopefully there's a little bit more diversity in the questing than there was previously when I played the game. Because it was literally just go around, grab this, drop it off, go around, grab this, drop it off. But we'll see how it goes. Uh, when we get to the dungeon and stuff, it's going to be cool. I do love the dungeon. Uh, hopefully, it's a decent way to level as well. Because I'd love to be able to just do some... I like healing and tanking in dungeons. That's a big thing for me. It's one of the best parts of MMOs. But they, they really, like, killed the grouping stuff off in most MMOs now, man. It's like literally just play a single player Come with people on, running around. Come on, you stiff fool. What possible interest would I have in spying on this pathetic little outpost you got here? You see, that is precisely the kind of thing a spy would say, particularly when she was caught creeping around near our camp. Tell me this then, Sir Wisdom. What exactly would I be wanting to learn? How you scratch your ass in an iron suit? Ha! <laughs> Trying to distract me with insults, eh? But it won't work. Took your sweet time getting here. I was sizing up the pirate base until this suspicious sad nabbed me. Can you tell him I'm not a spy? We don't know, Grace. You are kind of spyish, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, very funny. Ah, well. If you know her, then I suppose that we could give but her a chance. How do you know it's okay? You don't even know us. <sighs> but I'll have my eye on you, young lady. Better keep your eyes to yourself, unless you want them poked out. She's a bit evil, man. I do like her character better than most of them, though. So far, she's probably been one of the better ones. I do like uh, Elstrom, though. Bravo, the Viking king. my bold friend. I feared the pirates would overwhelm you, but it seems you are nigh unstoppable. And I suppose if you're willing to vouch for Miss O'Malley, we'll give her the benefit of the doubt. Not a problem, mate. The woman claims she snuck into the pirates' den and there are hundreds within. But yeah, can you can. You really trust her. After all, she is a pirate herself. More than you, because you are useless, my friend. Very well, then. If she's to be believed, the source of this plague on our lands may well be inside. You'll have to hear her account yourself. 
If you're willing to venture into the den on her word, then so be it. Let's do it, man. Let's do it. Let's talk to her. We got. Yeah, we unlocked that one at 50. Do I want to put some more HP? I think we're just going to level it up completely, to be honest. Map. How many did we get? We got one. Standing territory, gathering speed, crafting speed, territory gain. Lovely. Oh, have you ever met such coordinated pirates? It's like they went to school or something. <gasps> How will people ever find their way to Pride when? Was that a main quest? That's the side quest. We don't want anything to do with you. Stay away from your side quests. Well, now, I do hope you straightened everything out with Sir Pain and me arse. <laughs> I, I tried to tell coming. that sod. If you want to defeat these pirates, I know the way. You were spying on them, though. Not spying so much as taking a measure of the place. Heard there were pirates up here and thought they might be sitting on some valuable loot. She's just greedy, man. And they've got some loot, sure enough. But they don't even seem to care about it. I guess that's what happens when you lose your soul. She's like a female Irish you, Jack Sparrow. But if you go in, I'll be expecting some treasure in of exchange for my information. I worked hard for it after all. So here it is. There's a glowing altar in there. And the bastards are drawn to it like flies to a carcass. Smash the damn thing. And I bet they'll all buzz off. Let's go kill it. For someone like you, maybe. Not for me. But hey, don't forget our deal. Snatch me up some valuables in there. And we'll be that much closer to getting a ship. I don't think she, we're ever going to get a ship, to be honest. We're never getting off the island. Never, I should have like, that's kind of like a spoiler alert. Let's go crack on um, Pirate's plan Go destroy the altar I want a wolf mount Where's my wolf mount? Let's see how well the videos do Let's see how well they do Shoot that off I actually used our mana for once Traitor's hold this place is going to be empty. This is kind of one of those things that happens because there's so many people playing in the early areas right now. You really don't have a chance to get anything because everything's dead. You just run through. Everything's been killed. Boom. Bye bye. Boom. Love it. How do we get inside here? All the way around. We'll just cut around this way. Oh, there's some nom noms in here. We'll pick up this supply crates. I always want to be grabbing these, as I say every single time. You just have to grab them all. Let's head up and blow up this altar. There's Wilkins Storm. I guess that would have been one of the side quests. Supplies! Provision supplies, and what else? There's two boxes there. Is that double? Lovely. Gravel rations, rice, tomato, milk, and yeast. All the things we need to survive. Search for the altar. What do we have in here? Some old ruin ruins, it looks like. It seems like the quest is kinda of, the questing has kinda of changed, however, it's still very What's this? Optional. Destroy the strange altar. What's this? Yep. Oh god. Let's kill these dudes. Get that guy healing. Traitorous plank splitter. What's that dude? Defeat Helvin the Navigator. Where's Helvin the Navigator? Is he gonna have oh, he's at the top there? Right. He's gonna come down here. Oh god. That oh god. That was a weird mechanic. Let's just kill him now. It'll be easy now. Oh, I end up hitting harder than all these dudes. That's why I end up with all the bloody... Just dodge out of the way of that. Boom, he's down. Search rubble. Collect his blunderbuss as well. Where's the blunderbuss? Talk to Grace O'Malley at Corsair's Rise. Target, let's get out of here. Holding down the E. That was a pretty simple mechanic. <laughs> like, I can't wait to get into the dungeons. They're far more fun than all this stuff. 
No, get out of there. You're just about to give me some side quest bullshit. I want well, nothing to do now, with. Well, look who made it in and out of the pirate's den safely. I knew you could do it. Unlike this sod. Why not? Tell me, did you find that glowing altar? I did indeed. See there? We make a good team. I go in first, all sneaky like, and get the lay of the land. Then you follow up with force, taking care of business. Nobody seems to want to help of us do anything. Of course, for a partnership, <clears throat> it's vital all parties profit in adventure. <laughs> now that's a right decent friend. This'll get me a bit closer to securing my ship. Just give her a blunderbuss. And Sir Pain in me ears let slip that the Night Regent wants to hire scouts. I'd say that job has my name on it. So I'll see you back in Pridewin. Does indeed. <laughs> So we should be finished in this part of the quest now. No surprise there. Miss O'Malley gets what she wants and disappears. I do hope your courage accomplished more than padding. Yeah, of course it I did. I can only imagine the filth you had to wade through to reach the heart of the pirate's den. Did you find the foul sorcery Miss O'Malley claimed was there? Yes. Interesting. Perhaps that's why we're seeing even fewer of the scoundrels coming ashore than before. This revelation should be taken back to the Night Regent with all haste. I must keep Vigil here. Ensure these scoundrels don't attempt any further incursions to the south. Well, you're not really you doing must that. go alone and go quickly. Use uh, the uh. spirit shrine to return. To <laughs> okay. <laughs> Everyone, nobody wants to do anything, literally. Use the spirit shrine. Let's go up. Let's use, use these little ladders the people have built. Just have to get back and then we'll go hand in the quest. That one's kind of cool looking though. I don't like skins and stuff like that in the world where they, people can just place down something that looks completely immersion breaking in an area. Kind of ruins some of the game stuff for me to be perfectly honest. Do, 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 do. When do we get to the... I mean we're at level 1 now. Oh god. I can't even see what level we are. Oh, I just pressed three by accident. Ate some food that I wasn't supposed to eat. Fast trap. Fast travel back. We can actually just travel through. Scream to death. You can hear him like in the back. It doesn't do it anymore. Yeah, it does. Look there. You hear the screaming in the background? That's weird as hell, man. Right, back in place. Let's drop this quest off. And we'll probably end up putting a little bit of a cut in there. I'm gonna try and hit it about the hour mark per episode so we can get through it. So it's not gonna be like uh, too much going on in each episode. Is this gonna do that? That put me in a weird angle then for some reason. Viet Dong, of course, someone's called that. Why wouldn't they be? I have to confess. Seeing you return brings me a great deal of relief. I need people I can trust now more than ever. In fact, your enterprising friend Grace O'Malley was here. She drives a hard bargain, but I am strongly considering her offer. What would that be? Grace says she was with you up north and the pirates were rallying to some strange altar. Is it possible it's connected to the tablet from the mine? Maybe. Exactly. She's been studying the fragments you brought back from the mine for a while. Surely she's learned something. Wasn't that long. If so, I would ask you to work with Moira to follow up on any leads. I, unfortunately, must attend to less pleasant matters. What are yes, they? Yes, you've earned that right. I must soon deal with Minister Lochnir's disrespect head on. He's avoiding me. And there are things he must answer for. I must handle this myself, though. You should seek out Moira straight away. Dealing with this plague of... Lovely. So we're gonna, this is going to start coming to a head soon. We're going to put a little cut in there for this one. This is going to be today's episode on the main story quest of New World Eternum. I'm having a whale of a time. I do love this game. I do love a lot of the stuff they have in this game. We're going to the map. We're going to do the cards for the last thing. Do we have it? We have storage upgraded. Lovely. So that's all sorted, and we'll hopefully get to the next part in the next episode. I hopefully see you then. I want to thank you all for watching. Make sure to like and sub for your survival gaming goodness. Fly safe and avoid local chess games.